when it comes to how to control your nervousness on court, I can of course tell you about my own experience and uh, I had one back in 1983. It was the World Championship in Denmark. I was top seed, favourite to win. Um, I had won the All England in 1982. I won it at uh, I lost it in 83 in the final to the same player, Luan Jin from China. And then, but still, top favourite to win in uh, 83 for the World Championship. Of course, played in Copenhagen. I think I had so many expectations to myself and my own performance that I utterly flopped it. I, I didn't feel the nervousness, but the nervousness sapped my energy absolutely, utterly and completely. And it took me actually three months before I recovered from the tournament and felt I was sort of back to some sort of physical level I used to have before that. It really, really was a very tough time for me as a badminton player. And I remember I decided that I would give myself 12 months to try to regain my position in the world of badminton as number one, two, three be a very strong contender for winning all the tournaments. And if I was not able to do that within 12 months, I promised myself I would uh, hang up the rackets and stop playing badminton. Luckily, it never happened. I'm very thankful for that. I had a very, very, very good 12 months and I was sort of back on top again. But I think the mere fact that I put myself such a strong target and promised myself that should I not be able to achieve it, I would stop. Somehow fired me up quite a lot. When I advise other players, you know, how to overcome nervousness on courts, it's, it's very, very tricky. Um, everyone is having butterflies in their stomachs when they walk on court. The whole world is watching you and of course you want to do well. But I think having done your preparation, your homework, is one way of dealing with it. Of course, good warming up is also extremely important. And then, you know, you just simply go into your own world. You go into the four lines, the net and your opponent, and you really focus on, on how and try to win the match in the best possible way. Sometimes I see also doing my commentary now that um, a lot of players, when it's getting close, 19 or 18 or perhaps, that players are sort of going backwards a little bit. They're getting scared. They are hoping that the opponent is making the mistakes and thereby they win. But by doing so, they become very passive in their play and they give the opportunity uh, to their opponents. Too many chances, too easy wins. So you have to be strong, you have to believe, you have to go forward, you have to believe that you can do it and uh, not giving anything away and not to become too passive. Hi, my name is Morten Frost and if you like what you see, if you like the videos, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel.